be warned, online advertising is a whole lot more complicated than you might have realised. Hello. Our technology expert, David McClelland, knows all about how these ads work. So we asked him to visit Pat and her daughter, Jill, to explain it all. So how much did it end up costing you altogether before you realised what was happening and the money that was being taken out of your £384. bank? £384. Because of the information that you share with Facebook, it knows your name, it knows the things you like, it knows your friends and what they like. It knows quite a lot of information about you. And that information is dynamite to advertisers who want to use Facebook to promote their services because they can target specific adverts to specific groups of people. And as David is about to demonstrate, it's surprisingly simple for advertisers to target potential customers in this way. We can create an advert and target it using people's information. Let's create an advert that people in Staffordshire, or even more specific, people in Stafford. How old do we want these people to be who are going to see this advert? Think of a number. 70. That's good for me. Now, men, women, everybody? Everybody. Everybody? All? Good. How about relationship status? So only people who are single. OK, so you can see how really precise we can yes. already be yes. with these adverts. So there's a saying about using online services that are supposedly free, that if you're not paying for the product, then you probably are the product. And the fact is that Facebook makes its money out of information that you give to it that it can then use to sell advertising to you. Do you find that a bit scary? Yes, very. yes, I do. It's frightening. It is it's very frightening. I'm not happy about it. Pat saw the face creams on Facebook, but sophisticated online advertising like this is used right across the internet. And here's another clever thing about how it works. You may have noticed that if you search for something online one day, the very same thing you were looking for will all of a sudden appear in adverts on other websites you visit the next day. And that is not a coincidence. Most websites use things called cookies, software that tracks information about you on the basis of which website you visit and how often you do it. There are two types of cookies that end up on your computer. The, the good cookies, as you might like to call them, are called first-party cookies. And what they are, they're an essential part of how the internet works and they remember preferences. So, for example, if you're visiting the BBC website, it might remember where you like your weather forecast to be from or how big you like the text to be on the page awesome. or what country. Now, the other type of cookies, really, are called third-party cookies. And these are the tracking cookies that advertisers yeah. leave on your machine. And that enables them to do this tracking from place to place, from site to site, to help them build up this profile. You can delete those cookies uh, from within your browser and start again. You're basically wiping the slate clean, but you will lose a lot of the goodness that comes from yeah. those first-party cookies as well. Yeah. Mm. Well, it's amazing, and I don't like it, really. We asked Facebook about the way they work with advertisers and how they protect the data of site users like Pat, but they chose not to comment. It's been a real eye-opener for Pat and Jill, who now realise that however much they trust the site where they see an ad, the ads themselves can be an entirely different story. I've got a mobile phone, I've got my computer. It's a wonderful thing, but I feel that it is really intrusive. And it reminds me, years and years ago, uh, they talked about Big Brother is watching you. And we never ever thought that it would come, but it's here. And they know too much about all of us.